Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would go just a little bit deeper into ACX and getting started there. Once you have your profile set up, then you're like, I, I have no idea what kind of books to look for or how do I audition? How do I do any of this stuff? How do I get started? I'm completely lost. Well, that's what we'll dive into a little bit today in today's video. We'll go through finding a book and um, recording and submitting an audition, and then some next steps. So here we go. Okay, so here is my ACX page. So I'm going to go and look for my next book to narrate. So I'm going to go up to search, and then I'm going to look for titles accepting auditions. Let's click that. And uh, looks like I have some filters that saved them. Sometimes I don't always push through, but you might have to reset your filters for each each time you search. But okay, so let's see, what do I have them set at? I have um, pretty much everything except for erotica and sexuality. And again, if you want to narrate those, there's nothing wrong with that. And you do have the opportunity to give yourself a pseudonym, pseudonym, <laughs> if you want. Um, it's up to you. But you do have that option either um, at the end when you submit the book for um, approval to for the rights holder, you can change your name at that point. You could submit your name as whatever you want the pseudonym to be, or you can create a whole other account um, if that's all you want to narrate is just erotica and sexuality. You can have an, a whole other account with just that different name. It's up to you how you want to do it. Okay, so I have everything except for erotica selected. Let's see, gender, obviously. Oh, I did any. Let's move that to female. That'll narrow it down a little bit. Uh, compensation, I have any. Um, I think I ran through these before, but obviously if you select unspecified, you'll get a much broader return on available titles. But if you want to really drill it down, if you're tight on time or you know, you're really specific about what you want to be paid, then I would select what you want. And you can select more than one. So if you're looking for, you know, royalty share plus or just royalty share or even, you know, 50 to 100 per finished hour. But let's for the sake of this, let's just do, you know what, let's just stick with any and see what we get. I'm going to apply that. And then as far as... uh. Fiction or nonfiction is fine with me. Language, obviously, do you want to see? I told you some of the filters don't save. But obviously, English is what I speak. So I'm going to select English and apply that. Accent, I am not super great with all accents. I can do a couple, but I'm just going to stick with American General because that is my native accent. So I'll stick with that. Vocal style, I don't really see a whole lot of these selected in books uh, recently. So you could probably get away with just doing any. Um, as far as what I mean by that is the rights holder have the opportunity to really drill down and specify what kind of narrator they want. Sometimes they'll select some of these and sometimes they just select any themselves. So I'll just stick with any and see what we get. Um, that's one I just did. Let's do voice age. Um, I can pull any of these off, but I'm going to go with adult or middle-aged because I am. Let's apply that. Let's go project length. Um, for this demonstration, I'm going to go, let's do under three hours because I don't have a lot of time to commit to these. So let's look for... Incentive programs, I'm not too sure. That's relatively new to me. I haven't really done much with incentive programs, so I'll just select any. And we'll skip past that. Project status, exclude titles with pending offers. Okay, so we can exclude the books that already have an offer submitted to a narrator. Um, yeah, I'm going to exclude those. Let's apply that and let's see what we got. Okay, so we have a whole 25 books. <laughs> But it varies from day to day, from hour to hour. 
because there's a lot more narrators on here than there used to be. So let's just see what we have available to us right now. Okay, great. Well, here's one that immediately catches my attention. Meditation for beginners, because I perform and create a lot of meditations for my clients. Um, and I myself meditate and know the power of meditation. So I think I would be a very good match for meditation for beginners. So I'm going to select that one. Let's check it out. Okay, so it's uh, estimated to be just under two hours with a project budget of 50 to 100 per finished hour. That's actually not too bad. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so they want a soothing vocal style. I can definitely do soothing. Language, gender, adult, American general. The only thing that I see that catches my eye is an Amazon rating of zero and a sales rank of uh, over a million. It looks like they had just published this puppy and just uploaded it. Uh, oh, well, yeah, it's been a couple of weeks, I suppose. Today's the 30th of September. Oh, about a week, maybe. So... Okay, well, it looks like they have some social media uh, bestseller status awards reviews. I'm not sure where those bestseller statuses are because they're definitely not on Amazon. Pardon me while I chapstick. This is my one vice in the world. Dry lips is my nemesis. Okay, let's get back to this. Estimated audio release date not specified. Okay, so she's probably going to release this as soon as she gets it. Um, let's see what she has to say. This book was created with one goal of mine is to change your life using the art of meditation. Book will offer the reader down to the information for you. Okay, so it's really just a step-by-step -step instructions on how to meditate for beginners. So pretty self-explanatory. Let's check out the audition. So they have a script. Sometimes the rights holders will just copy and paste something in here for the audition section. Um, they actually have a script uploaded, so let's check this out. I'll open this up. Okay, so it looks like it's broken down into like day-by-day -day practice steps. Okay, cool. So I think I'm going to audition for this one. So what I'm going to do is, this is a revision that I did. Let's go ahead and close those. Okay, so I use Adobe Audition for Adobe Audition. I'm going to hit shift Control n for a new audio file. And then I'm going to name this. See, how do I want to name this? Let's name this with my name first. Let's do Angela.Olfast.Audition. Did I spell it right? No, Audition. And then the name of the book. Or the title of the book. Let's go back. Oh, let's see what this this was. Oops, I hit a wrong button. Excuse me. Meditation for beginners. Meditate for beginners. And then as we know or may not know, the sample rate for audiobooks is 44,100. Your bit depth is always going to be 16 bits and mono. You can always change this later, but I always do it up front because sometimes I just forget. So I'll set that and forget it. Okay, so I'm going to start this recording. I typically record a different way. I have a tablet over here just off camera that I use to record, and then I have my mic positioned thusly, and then I narrate this way. But for this demonstration, I am, I'm of course, going to narrate so you can see me. So I'm going to start this and then pull, what did I do with that PDF? Oh, there it is. Beginner Meditation, Week 2. In the world of meditation, it's so much we could cover, but I would be remised if I didn't hammer home the foundation. This week, we will dig a little deeper into your breathing techniques. I will explore where you are currently. Do that again. I use the clicker to mark my mistakes. 
I will explore where you are currently and best practices for getting the most out of your session. Have you noticed a shift in the ease or depth of your meditation experience? For the last seven days, you've been sitting for five minutes each session. Do you remember how difficult that was the first time? You may find that you're holding... You may find that you're looking forward to your... You may find that you're looking forward to your sessions now and that the time flies by quickly. It's not the length of a... It's not the length of a sitting that creates long-term change, but the fact that you are taking the time and setting the intention that you are going to meditate and sit as long as you can. For this reason, you'll be continually reminded each week about the importance of practicing consistently. If you haven't been sitting in meditation every day, spend a few moments considering the obstacles that got in your way. If anything got in your way during your session, log those into your journal. Log those in your journal. All right, so stop that recording. Your sample can be, I typically give them a couple of minutes. You can make it as long as you want. You can make it the whole section they provide. You can make it, you know, one or two paragraphs. It's up to you how much you want to supply to the audition. But for audiobooks, a generally longer snippet would be nice. So the rights holder or author can get a feel of how you'll sound narrating their entire book. But I think a couple minutes is fine. It gives them enough of an idea of what you can do, what your range is, how you'll sound, and if, you know, if they like your voice. So I think that's fine. So what I'm going to do and I have an audiobook rack already pre-programmed. I don't use all of these. These, Some of these other little effects I have used for different kinds of um, projects. <laughs> As I mentioned before, I do a lot of, uh, create a lot of meditations and affirmations, things of that nature. And sometimes I'll add an echo effect or a reverb. So they, for some reason, oh, I think I did an audiobook a long time ago that had affirmations and stuff, and they wanted the reverb and stuff. So I had to add them to my rack. So everything sounded uniform throughout the book. It just made it easier, but you could just turn them off. But I save them to audiobook. That's why they're there. I don't use those. But obviously a denoise, um, I, I don't actually now to look at these. I don't think these are in the right order. They're definitely not in the right order. But I'm going to stick with this now just for the purposes of this run through. So I'm going to apply my rack. Give that a second and have a sip of coffee. <sighs> While that does its thing. Okay, great. So now I'm going to go through and edit. I'm going to turn my monitor back on. Actually, no, I can't. Well, discovered I can't have my monitors on while I'm recording. Otherwise, it has this really sick echo effect. So I'm going to just put one headphone on so I can hear. Now, your audition doesn't need to be perfectly formatted in the ACX format uh, as far as, you know, leaving the fi or five seconds to a second, half a second to a second head of room tone, and then the tail of, you know, three and a half seconds. You don't have to do that for the audition, but for those savvy rights holders that know ACX formatting, they might be looking at that to see if you can adhere to their formatting style. So, I always submit the audition the way that it would sound as a completed, finished audiobook. So the rights holder can see that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is just quickly go through and get rid of my boo-boos and fix this up. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've got my file all done. I've checked my amplitude statistics and I am within... ACX formatting. So I'm going to go ahead and save, whoop, save this file. 
Uh, I am going to save it. And I have folders for each different site that I find work in, like ACX, uh, Voice123, Fiverr, Upwork. They all have a separate folder, and then I have different clients within those folders. That makes it easy to find everything later. Okay, so we have our file. And now I'm going to go back to ACX. And let's see, what do I want to... Uh, first, let's upload... This is the mit. Oh, hang on. I got to save it as MP3. I almost forgot. And that's where we double check our formatting. Make sure you're at 44, 100, you're at 16 bits, and that you're at um, 192. Make sure that I'm at 192 bit rate, which I am. So, okay, great. Uh, Yes, overwrite it. Okay, so now back to, here we go. There's our files. Let's open that. And then for the message, I'm going to say, oh, and doing my audition for And then you can add a personal note, personal note if you like. Create, meditate, or I myself. If I can spell correctly. So, and this is play whole book I would be oh you know one thing I forgot to mention we were talking about the rankings earlier since this is paid up front per finished hour, the ratings don't really matter that much because you are being paid up front. You are not counting on the sales to make royalties. So that is another reason why I, I'm going ahead and auditioning for this book, because I know that I will be paid for it regardless of how well it does on Amazon. So that's one thing to note that I forgot to mention. I will produce this audio book for you for 100 per finished hour. So that would net me about 190 or so. Actually gross me about 190 or so uh, for this book, which isn't that bad. It's a, it's a relatively small book. 18,000 words. You can have that done in a day. And that is where my video and audio decided to cut out. So i sorry about that. I don't know what happened. But basically, all I did after that was just verify that everything was filled out, that the audition was the correct audition, and then I submitted it. And then all that's left to do after that is just to wait for the rights holder to respond. Sometimes they'll respond within an hour. Sometimes they'll respond in a couple weeks. Sometimes, you know, it might take them a little bit longer. Sometimes they won't respond at all, but that's just how it goes. So that is how we find a book to narrate and submit an audition. If you'd like any more information about me, please check out my website at voiceoverangela.com. I've got a whole section on, you know, recommended gear and stuff that I've personally used to help you get started on your journey in voiceover or audiobook narration. I also have a very big announcement coming soon. I'm not quite ready yet, but I'm working on a very large project to help other voiceover artists as well as entrepreneurs looking to start their own online businesses. I'm very excited about it, but I'm not quite there yet. But in the interim, like, subscribe, leave me some comments. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next video.